of the middle. Wow, it's gonna be longer than that. It's right length. I gotta space those. Got some stuff from the Mariah menu. Large fry for a dollar. And a double cheeseburger. I had a quarter pounder the other day and it was absolutely disappointing. Today, we're going to have a double cheeseburger. We'll see how they did on this. Well, I got two patties today. Always a good thing. Shop life. I got a video loading on the computer, so I figured while I was waiting for that, I have something to eat. Something just wonderfully delicious. The orange kick starts are my favorite. I like the black cherry. And I like the green ones, but I haven't seen the green ones in a while. I've not tried the fruit punch. I'm not a fan of fruit punch, so I can't imagine I would like that. <laughs> My wife's sitting between clients. 
using up all our data. Look at that memes. I will say this, the double cheeseburger, in my opinion, beats the quarter pounder with cheese. At least the one I had the other day. I don't normally eat large fries. I didn't realize how long they were going to take. Good enough, I got most of them. I'll get a half hour, I'll have heartburn. Hey, need to make a trip to the bathroom. Sometimes McDonald's has that effect on me. All right, let's break's over. Back to work. So this was my weld. Um, it's not very sturdy and it's really ugly. And that's why I have Alex coming over. Uh, I got it stuck on there. I don't know if he's going to want to leave it there or if he's going to want to just take it completely off. And then I have a tab that I mounted right there. I just stuck a glop on there and see what he can do with that. The other thing that I needed to do was my steering stop. And I don't know if we're going to get to it today. There's no steering stop on this bike right here right now. Um, I was going to modify this piece and cut it, and but I got to pull the bike off and all that. So we'll see if he feels like doing that. I don't really feel like doing it right now, so we'll see. Uh, more when he gets here. Well, I hope you liked that portion of the video. It is something I'm going to try to continue to put into my videos, that quick edit style. Um, I like watching that type of video. Uh, some of my favorite YouTubers use that style. And I'm expanding my ability, uh, which is what this whole project is about, uh, trying to do a little bit better editing and trying to include a lot of stuff without having a boring video. Still trying to get it around 10, 12 minutes, maybe 15 minutes on the video. So uh, something I'm working on, 
and will continue to do and so you'll see that style in my videos in, in my uh, work videos in the future so uh, to wrap this video up I wanted to do a quick overview of what I've got done on this bike and what is left to do uh, I started this project in September and since then I have the frame all painted I have the motor painted I have the side covers polished and reinstalled um, with the exception of the clutch cover and I'm waiting on this because I need to get the chain and it is just like a, a, a waterfall effect of it, it needs this, 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 and this. I got the battery box done and installed and I don't think it looks terrible. I think I'm gonna put an XS Cafe sticker or something on there. I got all the electronics mounted in it. I got the ECU, I got the starter solenoid. The voltage regulators ended up getting stuck on front. I got, I got one stuck down in here. Um, this is not the harness I'm going to use. Uh, the harness I'm going to use is actually more complete. Uh, the other one has uh, the fuse box isn't very good. So I'm going to uh, replace the fuse box and then install the other harness on here. Um, I got the XS750 uh, rear shocks on it. Uh, the carbs are just sitting on here. I was checking fitment issues over here when I was doing the battery box. Um, we removed the foot peg assembly here and moved the exhaust mount forward a little bit alex came over and welded it and wow that boy did a good job that, that looks nice um another thing he did was he put a steering stop in here we kind of put some pieces together and stuck it up here i haven't tested it yet um i'm either going to have to grind some off or add some to it probably but i think it's pretty close so better than what was here which was nothing uh coming up i want once i get the fuse box done on the other uh, harness I will install the wiring harness and it will lay out where it's supposed to I'd like to get some body work done on this in the near future and maybe get that painted I want to get some tires ordered and get them on my painted rims so that I can get those mounted um, once I start on the front end then I will do the whole front end I think I'm going to paint these black and I got to put that other caliper on and that'll be uh, that'll be a day's project probably. From there, there's some things I need. I need the chain, and then I can get all of this side done and buttoned up. I need a seat and a rear hoop. I need to figure out my lights and a uh, speedometer. But we're getting really close. Um, I want it to be essentially done come April. I'd like to be doing some test runs on it. Uh, the project's going along really nicely. I'm real happy with the work that I've got done, with the amount of work, with the quality of the work. It's um, qu quality for me. So I hope that you like this video. I hope you will check out the other videos on the, on the channel. Um, I have a whole bunch more with this bike and we'll continue uh, putting those into a playlist on this bike uh, until it's done. Um, like and subscribe. Uh, that definitely helps things out. Uh, you subscribe and you get notified when I post a new video. And uh, they're kind of few and far between at this point, but um, you know it is it is what it is. So um, I will get them up when I can. So uh, until next time, ride safe.